And we got into it uh, pretty good last week over the uh, Teixeira thing. But I think on this one, you and I will totally agree. And that is what Jim Jordan did just a couple of days ago. And my friend Jennifer Harrison, who just wished me a happy birthday, and and uh, Madeline Brame and Jose Alba and all these victims here in New York having a chance to speak, to speak and tell their story while Alvin Bragg wastes time going after Donald Trump. I think you and I will agree on this one. What Jim Jordan and that committee did on Tuesday was a great thing. Uh, I said you and I agree 1,000% on this. What Jim Jordan did was absolutely essential. Well, it, to me, even more significant was how terrible the Democrats were. I mean, for them to be talking about this is just all about Trump, this is phony, these people are being used. When you had those family members of victims, some who were brutalized and even murdered in the most horrible ways, and for the Democrats to somehow – pass this off as a uh, political advertisement or a commercial. I mean, that shows that basically down deep they are heartless. And as bad as Bragg is, uh, I think those Democrats there that day disgraced themselves, the Congress, and it was just a horrible insult to those victims who had the guts to come out. I mean, listen, you go through a trauma like that, a horror like that, and having a family member killed or attacked or wounded, and then to uh, have the nerve, the courage, to go on national television, to go before the United States Congress, and then be ridiculed, to be ridiculed by the Democrats. And they were being ridiculed. You know, the Democrats say, well, we weren't really criticizing them. We were criticizing the fact that they were being used. Not true. That's the worst insult of all. You say, these people aren't smart enough to know right. what they're right. doing. I mean, it was absolutely disgraceful. So now Jim Jordan, he did the right thing, and we need more of it, and let the American people know they're real victims to these crimes, and these are the people who are suffering.